Hi guys welcome back to our YouTube channel. Our lesson for today is about focus versus epicenter intensity versus magnitude active versus inactive faults. Must know section where does an earthquake start? How strong is the earthquake? Where do earthquakes occur? Let us have a short pre-assessment first. Identify each statement whether it's true or false. Here we go. The epicenter is the origin or the center of the earthquake. The answer is false. No one can stop earthquakes from happening but there are things that people can do to avoid or reduce loss of life and damage to properties. The answer is true. A point on the surface of the earthquake which is directly above the focus of an earthquake and where the earthquake vibrations reach first is called, focus. The answer is false. The intensity of an earthquake gives us an idea of how strong or weak the shaking is or simply by describing the effect of earthquake on people or surroundings. The answer is true. Active faults are structure along which we expect displacement to occur. The answer is true. Where does an earthquake start? The breaking of the rocks will start at the point where the rocks are weakest. This spot where the first break occurs is called, the focus or hypocenter. The focus is the origin or the center of the earthquake. It is located underground. A point on the surface of the earthquake which is directly above the focus of an earthquake and where the earthquake vibrations reach first is called, epicenter. Epicenter is where the most violent shaking occurs. How strong is the earthquake? An earthquake may be described in two ways. Intensity and magnitude. The intensity of an earthquake gives us an idea of how strong or weak the shaking is or simply by describing the effects of earthquake on people or surroundings. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or FAVOLCS, uses the PEIS or FAVOLCS earthquake intensity scale to describe the intensity of earthquakes in the Philippines. Another way of describing the strength of an earthquake is by magnitude. The Richter scale, also called the Richter magnitude scale, is a measure of the energy released. The greater the magnitude, the stronger the earthquake. Intensity versus magnitude Intensity is written in Roman numerals, while magnitude is written in Hindu Arabic. Intensity uses intensity scale while magnitude has Richter scale. Intensity refers to how strong an earthquake perceived and felt by people. Intensity is generally higher at the epicenter while magnitude refers to how much energy is released by an earthquake at the focus. Where do earthquakes occur? A fault line is defined as a geological fracture wherein the movement of masses of the rock has displaced parts of the Earth's crust. A rapid movement of a fault line may produce a powerful energy that can trigger a strong earthquake. There are five active fault lines in the country namely, the Western Philippines Fault, the Eastern Philippine Fault, the South of Mindanao Fault, Central Philippines Fault, and the Marikina Valley Fault System. Classification of Faults
Active fault An active fault is a fault that is likely to have another earthquake sometimes in the future. Faults are commonly considered to be active if there has been movement observed or evidence of seismic activity during the last 10,000 years. Inactive fault are fault structures that we can identify, but which do not have earthquakes if a fault has been inactive. For millions of years, it's certainly safe to call it inactive. <laughs>